Today we're going to solve and graph a different set of inequalities and we call them compound inequalities. Now there are two operations on compound inequalities. We have the AND operation and the OR operation. Now inequalities or compound inequalities are basically pairs of inequalities joined by these operations. Now we're going to be focusing on our first set which is the AND operation. So the example that I'm going to show you on this board will be compound inequalities containing the end operation. Now for my first set, I have to graph the solutions of 3x minus 1 greater than negative 28 and 2x plus 7 less than 19. Now if you'll notice, we have two sets of inequalities. Now to solve the compound inequalities containing the end operation, it's pretty much similar to what we did before. We just need to focus on our first set and solve for x on this side of the inequality and then we're going to solve the other one afterwards. So to solve for x on 3x minus 1 greater than negative 28, we need to add 1 on both sides and divide both sides by 3, leaving us with x greater than negative 9. Now on the second set, we have 2x plus 7 less than 19, just like what we did on the first set, we just need to have x by itself, so we subtract 7 on both sides and divide both sides by 2, leaving us with x less than 6. Now to graph the compound inequality with an operation or end operation, all you need to do is to get the graph of x greater than negative 9. So since this is greater than, you will need an open circle. So I have an open circle on negative 9 and I have an open circle for positive 6. Now since this is an end operation, it's going, it, it, will go, it will connect the two points right here for negative 9 and 6, meeting them in the middle. So we'll have the graph of the compound inequalities with the end operation. Now, all end operations or compound inequalities containing the end operator will have a graph similar to this one. So it connects in the middle with your two circles right here on the sides. So it's either an open circle or a shaded circle depending on the inequalities being used on your inequality or compound inequality. Now, on example number two, it's a different way on presenting the end operation in compound inequality. If you'll notice, graphing the solutions of 2x plus 1 in between negative 5 and 7 is quite different on how you wrote it on the first example. But the method is still the same and the graph is still the same. You need to have x by itself and to do that, all you have to do is to get rid of positive 1, so that means you subtract 1 right here for 2x plus 1, and you will also subtract 1 on the left-hand side of the inequality and the right-hand side of the inequality, leaving you with negative 5 minus 1 and 7 minus 1. So you'll have 2x less than or equal to negative 6 and 2x less than or equal to 6. Now to get rid of 2 right here in the middle, you need to divide both negative 6 and positive 6 by 2, leaving you with x in between negative 3 and positive 3. And since this is an end operation, which is just differently presented compared to example number 1, the graph will still be the same. So this is how you denote the graph of an end operation. So x is greater than or mean x is less than or equal to 3, but greater than or equal to negative 3. So this is the graph of your end operation. So negative 3 is a closed circle, and positive 3 is also a closed circle or shaded circle because of the equal sign on your inequality. And these two examples right here that we just did are both compound inequalities containing the end operation. Now let's try to solve a different type of compound inequalities, but this time it's going to use the OR operation. So my first example, I have 4y minus 2 greater than or equal to 14, or 
3y minus 4 less than or equal to negative 13. So since this is a compound inequality, I'm going to solve my first set of inequality right here. So for 4y minus 2 greater than or equal to 14, you need to add 2 on both sides and divide both sides by 4 so that you'll have y greater than or equal to 4. Now to solve the other side of your compound inequality, 3y minus 4 less than or equal to negative 13, you subt I mean you add 4 on both sides, leaving you with 3y less than or equal to negative 9, divide both sides by 3 and your inequality will be y less than or equal to negative 3. Now to graph the compound inequality that's using the R operation, if you graph the first set which is y greater than or equal to 4, it will be 4 right here with a shaded circle going towards the right because it's the greater than or equal to symbol. Now for the second set, y is less than or equal to negative 3. Negative 3 is right here and it's moving towards the left because it's the greater than or equal to symbol. And you are using a circle which is shaded. Now all graph of the OR operation will have the same behavior as this graph. Now it's splitting into two. Um, compared to the first two examples, it meets in the middle because it's an end graph. So the, we call that the, um, this one is the disjoint graph and the other one is your conjunction graph for end operation. Now for the second example, you have to solve and graph 6b plus 3 less than 15 or 4b minus 2 greater than or equal to 18. Now if you'll notice from example number 1 and example no number 2, there's no difference between the two notations. It's because the OR operation will only have this particular notation. So unlike the end operation, you might see two types of system or notations on how to write the end operation, but for the OR operation, there's only one. So to solve for the second example, we'll solve the first step. And to do that, we need to add I mean subtract 3 on both sides so we can get rid of 3 and we can divide both sides by 6 so that b is less than 2. And for the other side we have 4b minus 2 greater than or equal to 18. You add 2 on both sides and divide both sides by 4 and you'll have b greater than or equal to 5. And to graph example number 2, our first set is less than inequality so therefore I have an open circle going towards the left and for my second inequality I'm using a shaded circle because I have the greater than or equal to symbol in my second set and this is how you represent your problem number two in a graph.